Hey, fellas, how's the new game going? <sighs> yeah, about that. We kind of forgot to budget for color graphics. B -M -G. And this is our review of O-V-I-V-O. I'd like to thank the publisher for providing me a review copy of the game prior to its release. It was developed by <laughs> and published by Sometimes You. Sometimes me? It released July 3rd, 2019 for a price of $6.99, which is acceptable due to the polish shown on this gem. I'm not really sure OVIVO really needs much explanation. I mean, look at the game. That is, unless you cannot see, which, <laughs> if that's the case, I guess this game definitely isn't for you. So there's no real reason to show you any more of this game. Thank you for watching. Uh, see you next week. Make sure you subscribe. <laughs> yeah, funny, funny, I gotcha. Let's get on with the review. All right, so for all of you that can see, I suppose we can continue to talk about this game. The gameplay mechanics are extremely intuitive and moving your little dot back and forth on the black and white goo becomes pretty natural. Switching between the halves of the worlds feels like fun and the more you switch back and forth, the velocity starts to build and it uh, actually turns into kind of a rhythm game. Riding the waves and anticipating the world switching reminded me of hitting transitions at a skate park or powering off a wave while surfing. Either way, the in-game physics are on point. Here's what the publisher had to say. Ovivo is a metaphoric game filled with illusions and hidden messages. In the world of Ovivo Black and White exist in harmony. Constantly intertwining and replacing each other they maintain balance. The main character named OVO created from these two halves of the world, and it has the ability to switch between them. OVO travels through the metaphoric world, overcomes various dangers, and collects mysterious symbols. These symbols help you to unravel the story of this world, but how you interpret it is completely up to you. The simplicity of design cannot be denied, and the soundtrack adds a powerhouse feeling that would otherwise be stark and barren. For you achievement hunters, this sometimes you title is not one of the easiest completions in their arsenal. The entire game can be completed in a single playthrough in a couple hours. By collecting the dots and completing levels, which there is a level select for if you missed any collectibles along the way. The artistic contrast of black and white cannot be denied and it's a beautiful minimalist journey through a hybrid platformer, rhythm game, and puzzler. It does suffer from a repeated gameplay without any real power-ups, weapons, secret areas, or vehicles, although enemy types are introduced later on in the game, but anything that would kind of switch it up would be great. OVIVO, you divide us at three and a half. <laughs> Beans out of five. Well, that wraps up this review. We do them every week, covering new and unreleased console indie titles that are either easy achievement and trophy completions or have really blown our socks off. If you enjoy our humor or just want to watch us make the magic live, join us on Twitch and YouTube Live as we stream the night away! In the meantime, make sure you lightly tap the subscribe button down in the corner to add our weekly videos to your YouTube watch list. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> so nice! While you're at it, go ahead and hit the notification bell to be alerted when our new videos become available. It's free! And it really helps us get the attention of these developers that think we really need 10,000 subscribers subscribers to be worth sending their games out to. Be sure to visit again next week. We'll be covering the new joint from Mode 7 called... The Colonists. Y'all stay safe out there. We'll see you next time on, on The, the Farm. Farm.